I know some stuff. Hello everyone, it's Terry from TD Sheridan Lab. And as the teaser suggested, I would like to think I know some things. Uh, whole reason why I'm creating this channel. But to be more specific, I just kind of wanted to go over my background and kind of paint the range of topics that this channel could uh, cover in the future. So, growing up, my father had a computer parts and mainframe wholesaling company that he ran until my early teenage years, but that meant I got to start playing computer games on DOS when I was five. <laughs> Moving forward from that, uh, in high school, I did an independent study my junior and senior year to basically be tech support for the school's staff, which kind of helped uh, solidify my IT experience at that time, giving me that first, uh, we'll say, relevant experience. It was pretty much equivalent to an internship, but at the high school level. Then I went up to the University of Minnesota, Duluth, and after my first year of college, I got a job at the second largest white box system builder in the country, which happens to be here in Minnesota. And uh, due to un some unforeseen family stuff that popped up, that first summer job actually turned into the first six and a half years of my career. So during my time at the system builder, I you know, first started building desktop computers and the large bulk orders from there. But then worked my way up through the company and started getting into server design, server assembly, and high performance compute cluster design and building all that stuff. At the end of my tenure there, I uh, also decided to go back to school. So while in school, I took a new job at a managed service provider here in Minnesota, which they have a private data center and private cloud that they offer to their clients. And that's what got me in the door truly with virtualization. You know, at the system builder side, uh, there was some builds that was you know, install VMware, install Hyper-V, but I never got past the point of once you install either of those platforms, you had, you had to do something with it versus at the managed service provider, I have to do everything start to finish. So, you know, deploy VMware, spin up VMs, manage them, monitor them, back them all up, etc. So over the 12 and a half years of real job experience, I've had to do a lot of training um, so just a short abbreviated list of certifications that you know are familiar. I have CompTIA A+, Net+, and Project+, Microsoft, or a lot of Microsoft to be honest, but the condensed version is certified on XP, Vista, and Windows 7, the MCSA on Server 2003, 2008, 2012, MCSE on 2012, with the way Microsoft's redoing their certifications right now, they decided to give me credit for 2016, even though I have not done any tests on 2016 yet, but whatever, I'll take it. Then I have the VMware VMCE, or sorry, not VMCE, the VMware VCP on 5.5.6.0 and 6.5, the Veeam VMCE on Veeam 9.5, Cisco CCNA, and since I've always worked for companies that have partnerships with Microsoft, WatchGuard, HP, etc., I've done a ton of partner level training as well. So, if there's a question about a certain uh, category in IT, there's a good chance I know something about it, can talk intelligently about it. If not, I'll be upfront and honest about it and tell you what I don't know. So, uh, besides that, in the middle there, I did go back to school and finish that four-year degree uh, to kind of get that resume checkbox item, but it did include some IT certs along the way, too, so it was, kind of, it was beneficial on that one. So, I do have a Bachelor's of Science in Information Technology from Western Governors University. So, yeah, that's my background. Again, this channel will be a mix of... Uh, some of the business stuff, Office 365, virtualization, good practices on that. Uh, some smart home stuff whenever I buy something geeky that may or may not be a impulse buy that may or may not annoy my wife when I do it. Uh, <laughs> document it, review it. You know, If it's good, praise it. If it's bad, make fun of it and return it. Um, but yeah, so just kind of a little bit of everything. If it, can, if it 
can work with the internet or get an IP address, uh, it's fair game in my opinion. So, and if you got any uh, requests, feel free to leave them in the comment section. If you like what you're seeing so far, please subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter at TD Sheridan Lab and on our website at tdsheridanlab.com.